Good morning. Welcome to Dude RV. And you got here just in time. That's right, just in time for another weekend excursion. I got Miss Trudy Thunder all loaded up. Got white lightning on the back end. Little Red is in there too. So we're gonna head across to the other side of the Dallas Metroplex. We're gonna drive about an hour. And we're gonna pay a visit to Lake Louisville Hickory Creek Park. It's Corps of Engineer Campground, kind of right in the middle of suburbia. So let's get on over there and check out Hickory Creek Park, Lake Louisville. Let's go. Creek Park, Louisville Lake, and check this out. We are, <laughs> what a fantastic site is. I'm, it took me an hour, a little over an hour to get here. As you saw driving through traffic, crossing the North DFW Metroplex. Not too bad, considering it's Friday, January 28th. It's January 28th, 2022. We are in site number nine. It's kind of deceptive. Of course, it's hard for you to tell in the camera. Got quite a bit of slope going down. When you get down to the bottom, though, it's, it's pretty level. Or water, 30 and 50. Now I did put some blocks under the rear wheels and under the rear jacks. That way the leveling system is not freaking out. We've got access to the water. We have a fire ring. Metal picnic table. Charcoal cooker. And best of all, the ubiquitous lantern hook. Can't camp without one of those. Now I, I spent some time, as you know, on Google Earth, Google Maps, looking at all the sites here at Hickory Creek Park. And I selected this one because there's a path down to the water. I saw two deer when I was driving into the park and there's a sign because you're driving through a, a suburban, kind of a suburban neighborhood to get here. There's deer crossing signs. All right, here's our water access. Now, how cool is that? I don't know how deep it is, but the water looks like it's really low. It ought to be about right here. Should be here, based on where those bushes are. But we are we are in drought, some drought conditions. So let me have a grab a bite to eat, and then we'll go see some stuff. So I'm finding that Hickory Creek Campground doesn't have a whole lot of stuff. We're gonna see some stuff in Hickory Creek Campground, and one of those is gonna be that boot ramp right there. But I, I have gone searching for stuff, and right now I'm in White Lightning, and this is a public boot ramp. At, at one time, it was a Corps of Engineer, but the signs have all been uh, covered up. The Corps of Engineer logo has been covered up with town of Hickory Creek. So I guess the town of Hickory Creek now has control of this here courtesy dock. It's a little bit nicer courtesy dock than the one across the way. That's the Hickory Creek campground. All 
All right, let's go find some more stuff. Camping at Hickory Creek Campground on Lake Louisville, and and you're needing you're needing a day use kind of area. There's a little park. I guess it's a little park. This is more Corps of Engineer property that was turned over to the town of Hickory Creek. So you, so Hickory, the, the campground is right over there. Hold on, we'll, we'll go over here so you can see. And while we're, while I'm moving over there, I'll throw up a map and show you. See, we're across this little channel from the campground, which is here. And right now I'm standing or walking here. Okay, now, now you understand where I'm coming from. Well, there's, there's not any swimming areas that I could find in the campground. I don't really see a swim area here. I guess you could swim in this. Anyway, they've got trash cans and place to cook. Of course, I have all of that at camp. All right, let's 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 go see some more stuff. So here at Hickory Creek Park, I think some of the better sites are right in here. Site number 23, and that's probably 25 with the big momentum. Yeah, 25, that's a pull through. The easy access to the water. During the summer, there'd be plenty of shade. Yeah, all right, let's go see some stuff. One thing that I find to be a little bit unusual is the fact that they have more they have a lot of facilities they have at least at least four of these really nice well really nice is a stretch but you've got a couple showers There's, there's plenty of places to shower and take care of business at Hickory Creek Park. All right, let's go find some more stuff. Hickory Creek has primitive sites. We're actually in a primitive site. There's no indication that this is a campsite other than there's a fire ring. There's not really a tent pad and then there's another fire ring, and then there's another fire ring. But those are your, your primitive sites at Hickory Creek. It is, it's very secluded. I'll give you that. It's a pretty good haul to get here from the paved road. It, it's dirt road all the way, or dirt trail. All right, let's go find some more stuff. I don't know for a fact, but I think this is this bridge is on the trail that goes to the primitive camping area. I think that's where that trail goes. I don't know. I I went out on a road and anyway, we'll have to do a scooter tour of this a scooter run of a virtual tour of this trail. But that'll be tomorrow. I'm looking for stuff right now. So let's go find some more stuff. So I think this this must be the the designated swim area for Hickory Creek Campground. And I say that just because there's a parking spot, parking place up there, parking lot, and a, a couple of signs that talk about swimming safely. And then it looks like lots of people have been coming into the water here. Not that I'm going to be doing any swimming because it's freezing cold. <laughs> but you might want to know that if you come here during the warm season. 
You got a great view of the highway or I-35 bridge. Gives you something to watch. All right, let's go see some more stuff. Good morning. It's time to go fishing. We got the little boat all set up. We're gonna let's go see if I can let's go see if we can catch some fish. Nice one. I was messing around rigging up another rod. 
<laughs> not paying attention and all of a sudden he's a, he's a good fighter oh yeah that's a good catfish too I didn't bring my net dang it I found deep water. I'm in 23 feet of water. <laughs> I'm almost to the middle of the lake. No bites. Just the, so far, only the one catfish. But man, it's just, it's just, it's pretty. There's no wind, so the water's super calm. Sun is shining. Just hanging out on the boat. Just floating around on Bobber. All right. Stay tuned. More to come. So I'm just sitting here enjoying this beautiful vista from my campsite here at Hickory Creek Park. Watching the squirrels eat bird seed. The person yesterday scattered a bunch of bird seed with mealworms. So when I went to buy bait, I bought some with corn. Doing my part. Here's some footage of birds. That's pretty cool. So that's what I've been watching. That was from this morning. Hard to believe it is January 29, 2022. And it is almost 70 degrees. I've been watching the high dollar bass boats come in here. Now, I discovered this morning when I was on the boat that maximum depth in here is about 15 feet. And that's out where that boat is right now. The rest of it is way shallow. To get deeper than 15, I had to go, as you saw, way out. Well, these guys will come up here in here and they'll, they'll stay in here for a few minutes and then they'll head back out. It's just so shallow. And the, the fish finder indicated that there were not very many fish. So one more night to go here at Hickory Creek Park, so stay tuned. More to come. Good morning from Hickory Creek Park, Louisville Lake. Sun is coming up. The freeway's busy. I know because I can hear it. But the animals have been going crazy on the bird seed. Sunday morning, it is time to roll out of here. Give you a brief recap of, before we, before we get into the recap, I'll walk over here. I'll give you, if it wasn't for the loud highway noise, this would be a great place to wake up to. Had some rude neighbors show up last night. I hate it when people leave their, their lights on all night. Anyway, I'm, I'm not here to complain about the neighbors, but I, but I had them show up last night 
So to give you a brief, give you a recap of our visit to Hickory Creek Park. It's a pretty park, no question about that. But man, it's, it's just, it's like sleeping in the, in the Walmart parking lot with the highway and airplane noise. Those are the only real detractors. The lake is, is very low right now. Otherwise, the fishing in this little cove would, would probably have been really good. But the water level's down about seven, maybe 10 feet. So to get into deep water where fish are right now, you gotta go way out. But that doesn't mean that this is not a good place to come and, and camp. This is most definitely a fantastic waypoint stop if you're moving north and south on 35. It would be a good place to spend a, a couple of weeks if you're visiting family in the area, provided you can get a reservation. That's going to be the biggest detractor to this campground is because it's right in suburbia, it's, it's a very popular campground. Although, that being said, there are quite a few empty campsites this weekend. Would I come back? No, I won't come back to this one. I would much rather go a little farther away from suburbia. I won't come back here just for the, the heck of it. I'd have to have a reason to come back. But that doesn't mean you should mark this off your list. Come out during the spring when the crop you're running and I bet you'll catch some fish in the creek channel. I think it pretty well covers everything. The sun's really, really gonna be bright today. What else, if you have any other questions about the campground, you know, post, a, post it in the comments down below. And if you've had experience catching fish from the banks here, that'd be nice if you could post it down in the comments below and tell us where and what you were, what kind of bait you were using. If this is your first visit to Dude RV, I'd be most honored if you'd consider clicking on the subscribe button. And for those of you that have been following along, that is why I'm here. Thank you for that. I appreciate that opportunity. And for my patrons, you rock. All right, y'all come back now, you hear?